the only way I can really think of to tell this story is by showing you my actual home with the actual data we have about my energy savings. So behind me here, you see my 28 solar panels that come to about eight kilowatts. And then I have two Franklin batteries totaling about 30 kilowatt hours of energy storage for more off-grid and kind of the jujitsu I do to try to bring my rate down. Now combined over the past year that I've actually been living in this house, my average price per kilowatt hour, how much it costs per ounce of energy I got was just about 14 cents. Now that is actually really good because the average rate in California is 32 cents. So a full 100% more than what I'm actually paying. Now, I happen to use a tremendous amount of energy because, because I have two electric vehicles. I mean, I'm using about triple what the average home here is because of those two EVs that I'm charging, which to recall is a Rivian and a Model Y. So a truck and an SUV. So if you're trying to think about how this might work for you, if you have gas cars and you don't have solar, take your electricity bill plus how much in gas you pay for both vehicles. And that's how much money or that's the total bill that I'm looking at with these numbers here. So when you see these numbers, think, wow, that's fuel and electricity for the home. So for 2023, the net savings compared to what I would have paid had I was paying the average price per kilowatt hour in California was $3,200. The system here is warranted for 25 years, giving me a total value that this system produces of $80,000. Editor Ben here, and I actually did some more math on this after going through and calculating the cost of gas and electricity. And if you look at how much money we're saving by doing this whole thing, granted, you also have to have two EVs. It's pretty astounding. Check it out. So essentially what I did was I took my actual cost here, the dollars that I paid for my electricity, and I compared it to that average home because my cost of electricity includes the fuel for the truck and the SUV. And we already calculated that at $610 per month. Of course, this will change with inflation and gas prices, et cetera, but let's just kind of keep it simple. You can then see how much I'm actually saving here if I actually had gas vehicles instead of electric vehicles. So this is a bit beyond the original scope, but you get the idea here that I'm saving even more instead of just how much I've been paying for electricity versus the average cost of electricity in California. So if I do a little sum right here, you'll see that each year I'm actually saving $4,470. So then if I were to add in the lifetime cost, we'll just take that and multiply it times 25. You can see the value of this setup with this system, including the two electric vehicles is $111,000. And then of course you would have to bring in the cost of the electric vehicles. But if you think about it, a regular gas vehicle is not free so it's not like you have zero versus whatever the cost of the ev is and i would argue something like my rivian r1t which i paid just over eighty thousand dollars for is actually a lot cheaper than the closest gas truck which would be the ram trx which last time i saw was going for 120 to 150 thousand dollars so forget that part of the equation you also include the suv it's in the same boat where you pay fifty thousand dollars for an suv eighty thousand dollars for a truck for comparable gas vehicles, it's basically a wash. Of course, there's other savings because of EVs and you know all those things, but just on fuel and electricity alone, across the lifespan of these panels and the batteries, I'm saving over $100,000. That's absolutely insane. I just had to add that in because as I was doing the math here in the studio, it just blew my mind. But that's just how much value this produced. What about the cost of the system? Of course, because this wasn't free. So the net cost of the solar panels plus the batteries was $35,000. It was about $50,000 all told and then minus the tax credit brings it down to 35. The 35 minus the 80 gives me a profit, a margin here, how much money I've saved of $45,000. Now again, this is just a simple math, but you can imagine that as electricity rates go up, they're going to keep going up and up and up, and it's going to actually make this math better in my favor. But looking at real world data, high level stuff, solar is alive and well, and it's going to continue to be that way here in the state of California. Most likely, though, if I were to begin solar, I would definitely be looking at storage and also maximizing the amount of panels. I believe you can get up to 50 percent more than you currently need. You just have to say you're going to be using it. And with that and the battery, you can do some really cool things to maximize your savings. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you back here next time.